Hello and welcome back to another Destination Education episode where the students and staff are the stars. And this week I'm joining you virtually because we are recognizing one of our Caldwell Online Academy students. Misha's only an eighth grader and she just finished writing a 148 page book. She describes her book as fantasy action with a little bit of adventure but not too much. The idea came to her as a fake scenario right before bed. It was just going to be like a small little five minute what if and it turned out to like be so much more. A plot started coming out, characters started coming out, the beginning and the end, the series of events, characters, everything like that. Misha is in the process of saving up to get her book published. She says her teachers here in Caldwell have inspired her to be creative. The process took her just under a year to complete, and she will be using the knowledge she has gained for her second book. She is hoping to finish the sequel to The Ends of the Earth in less than a year. Now we can't wait to see if the sequel is better than the original. Congratulations on all your success thus far. Now this next story highlights some of the innovative ways our teachers are engaging their students in their studies. As a way to involve his freshman English class in literature, Mr. Morris ran an election campaign between Edgar Allan Poe and William Shakespeare. As a part of the assignment, students created campaign posters, researched both authors, and conducted debates and presentations on behalf of their candidates in several other cross-curricular classes. I think they felt like we were trusting them to kind of use their own personalities and their own skills. And even with that, everybody learns so much individually. And I think that's important when we have you know, 30 different kids with 30 backgrounds and 30 sets of experiences in their lives come in to be able to do things that they relate better to. The entire student body was encouraged to vote for the author who they thought impacted the world the most. After 951 votes were casted, Edgar Allan Poe came out as the winner with 57% of the vote. Congratulations to both campaigns on running a great inaugural CHS Author of the Year election. Now sticking with Caldwell High School, last week five welding students competed in the Rocky Mountain Shootout Welding Contest. Wyatt Felton took home fifth place individual in the welding competition and Stone Stills took second in the written test. They both came home with some nice trophies and prizes. Congratulations, way to represent Caldwell. And as we wrap up this week's show, I would like to remind you that in-person kindergarten registration will be taking place at all six of our elementary schools on Wednesday, May 4th. You can also register online by going to caldwellschools.org. Now make sure to tune in next week to see where the highlights will take me. Thank you for watching and have a great week.